Okay, I'm going to make an attempt at showing you how to use a program called Easy PHP. If you're a web web developer uh, that develops PHP websites or works with um, PHP website packages such as Joomla or E107 or any of the PHP Nuke packages, this is an awesome little tool you can use. Um, what it does is it turns your computer into a local web server. MySQL and or MySQL is however you want to call it uh, included. Um, what you first need to do is obviously download EasyPHP, which you uh, to do that you go to easyphp.org, and this is the main page. Uh, you go into the download section and download the latest version and install it and then once you have it installed you launch the program and it starts up like this and then down by your clock you have this uh, little icon here where which if you right click on it you have all of your configuration options and uh, you can explore the local www directory through that um, but what you first want to do is set up your website so you want to go to the administration and as you can see I already have a few websites that I've been working on in here uh, this is a Joomla template to preview that Joomla works on it there you go uh, Joomla is a little bit difficult to get working you have to edit your PHP any but uh, we're going to be working with E107 which this works fantastic with so um, if you need to set up um, for E107 you don't for things like Joomla and PHP new sites there's a little bit more editing like I said you have to edit the PHP any file which is available in the root directory of um, easy PHP but um, for your database information your uh, MySQL username is root and by default and it, the password is blank by default if you need to set up your uh, MySQL or MySQL manually uh, you can click on this manage MySQL with PHP my admin button and you, it opens the familiar PHP my admin and you can create your database base that way um, for this tutorial we're going to be working with E107 as I said and that is like I said you don't need to do that because E107 installs the directory yourself um, and you already have your username and password set up so you don't need to do that for you E107 either um, so let's get on with it. Uh, what you need to do is I'm going to go back to my home page and um, download your package. For this tutorial is going with E107, so I've already downloaded E107. And where you need to place it so it works with E107 is in C, Program Files. Easy PHP, and all of your websites need to go in this www directory. I'm going to make a new folder and name it e107 underscore two because I already have one there. Extract all of the files there. And when that is done, I can close this now also close that one. You right click on your easy PHP icon, go to administration, and there's the folder you just created. If you open the folder, it starts the easy 107 installation. Hopefully you already know how to do this, so I'm not going to go into the installation of the package. Um, however, I will show you the other installation that I have that I've been working on a uh, theme for a gaming community community I belong to 
Um, there you go. I hope this helps. And hopefully it prevents a lot of you uh, PHP coders out there from if you didn't already know this program it'll help you prevent you from messing up a live site you do not need to work on a live site you can do it locally with no harm to the live site which is a very good practice because I myself even though I've been working with PHP since uh, the late 90s um, before I knew about these programs I had made a mess of a lot of sites and that is a very unfortunate and frustrating thing especially if you don't you're not in the practice of making backups so there you go easy PHP use it it's great